what they want to know is um, Kp for this reaction. Okay. Well, if they want Kp for this reaction right here, and they give us a set of simultaneous reactions. This is kind of like Hess's law sort of problem. Uh, I will have to use this formula. Kc rt delta n. So I'm going to get a Kc total, because these are all in Kcs. I'll get that. I'm going to convert that to Kp, and then I'll finally be done. OK, so what I want to do is just like I did Hess's law, let's get a different color pen out. I want to find something up here that only appears once down below, so a total of twice. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. This one appears here and here, right? So that means to this second reaction, I have to multiply by almost two. Negative two. Negative to flip it. That means what do I do to this? Raise it to the negative two. Raise it to the negative. If it was delta h, I would multiply by negative 2. But for k, I raise it to that power. So I'm going to have to do that to that number later. OK, get a different color pen. What else? Uh, this N204, right? I think it appears only here. Yeah? All right, so that one, I need to multiply by. Yeah, again, the negative 2. So this is to the negative 2. Also, I need to flip it, and I need two of them. So it matches the 2 over here in the products. OK, there's nothing else, i.e., uh, that is uh, O2, that appears only once down below. It, O2 appears three times total. So I'm looking for an intermediate that I can cancel out that's in the third reaction and one of the two above reactions. O2 is pretty easy. NO2, let's, yeah, sure, let's do that one. Get a different color out. Uh, I have how many of these? <coughs> Negative four. So what do I need to multiply this by? Four. Is that okay? So negative four adds to four and they cancel out because it's an intermediate. Is that okay? Okay, so raised to the fourth power. That means good. K C for the total reaction up above on the very top is K C. Now these have to be multiplied. K C one. I'll just call this number one, number two, and number three. Just to distinguish them. K C one to the negative two. Kc2 to the negative 2, and then Kc3 to the 4th. So put the plug in those numbers to find the Kc total. But I'm not done yet. Kp, which is what they wanted, is Kc total, from right here, times R. Which R am I going to use? 0.0806. Why am I going to use this one? That's right. There's another one too, but I, we're choosing to use this one because the units. the units, yeah. Liters, atmospheres per mole, Kelvin. Remember, Kp is in kind of atmospheric units. This is in moles per liter units, so that fits this. The other R has to do with joules. We're not messing around with joules in this kind of calculation. T, give it to me in the problem. T is 25 degrees C or 298. That's from the question. And then, uh, oh my gosh, what's the delta N? It looks like it's, for the original reaction, 2 minus 2 plus 3. Is that OK? Oh my goodness. Uh, 2 minus. Okay, whatever that is, there's your answer. So this is the equivalent of a Hess law problem, but for Ks, where you have to know to raise it to the power and then ultimately multiply them instead of adding.